the closing laps at Chicagoland were crazy for me. I'm doing the ARCA race on speed. I made a commitment a month ago to go do it for them. And, uh, you know, I'm in Chicagoland on Saturday afternoon visiting with the sponsors. Tums was there and all their folks from Walgreens had gathered. And I felt the energy. I mean, I knew our cars were running good. And I, I loved visiting the Tums folks and seeing how excited they were for the, the race in Chicago. And I wanted to stay so bad and be a, be a part of it, you know, be in, in the pits and hang out with the team. But I had to go. And when I got there, the race started, and it was obvious that both David and Martin were very, very strong. And um, as the laps wound down, I'm calling the ARCA race, and I'm watching the monitors showing what's going on in, uh, in Chicago. And there was a battle for the lead. It was Rudiman versus Jeff Gordon, and, and Rudiman grabbed the lead and drove off. The pit crew did an awesome job. He held off Carl Edwards. Um, my thoughts were, am I the dumbest person in the whole world for being in Iowa instead of Chicago? It's just right over there. But then, uh, you know, in hindsight, um, I, I wanted to win. So if, if me going to Iowa was what it took for that win to happen, I'm not going to stick around in Chicago and make sure that, uh, you know, I don't want to take a chance. So I was happy, extremely happy. Good friends were around me when the checkered fell. My buddy Schrader and Rick Allen, two guys that uh, I really respect and, and uh, love. And we had a nice little celebration while we were doing the ARCA race, darn it. <laughs> that was funny. MWR has done a really nice job this year of getting competitive and obviously we were better than competitive Saturday night. Both cars running right up front um, and then getting the, the win in, in, a, in strong fashion. You know, no caution flags late, no uh, rain, no pit stop strategy. It was just a race and David won the race. So just proud of the progress. You know, we got a long way to go to be championship contenders, but man, the, the way we ran Saturday night proves that we're, uh, we're making strides in the right, in the right direction. Moments like um, Saturday afternoon even were what I was thinking. Having a great partner like Tums come to town and w inviting their friends uh, from Walgreens who, who sell the Tums in the stores, you know. Just seeing their enthusiasm for MWR and, and using our race cars to sell their products and then putting a car on the race track that they could be proud of the way it performed. All those things coupled together plus all the smiles on the men and women's faces that work here. You know, seeing the way they felt about our effort and, and our result. The whole last four or five days just encompasses everything that I was thinking when I started this team. The struggles were mighty. I really didn't see that coming. But uh, now that we're heading in a good direction, it certainly makes me appreciate it even more. Um, it's different, for sure. I'm proud of the fact that um, I've got many years to come in order to win multiple, many more races as an owner. Um, you know, I, I raced really hard for 25 years and got some wins, but um, I didn't quite win as many times as I thought I would uh, or, or thought I should. So having a chance to rack up some wins as an owner is something that's really near and dear to my heart. I'm, I'm all in in this sport. I've been racing cars and doing TV and signing autographs and promoting sponsors my whole life. and. This is just a chance for me to continue to do that, and I'm really thankful for the opportunity that I've been given by great companies like Napa and Aaron's and Best Western, Coca-Cola, Tums, just everybody that comes has come on board and said, we want you to race your car for us. That's a privilege for me, and it's an honor, and I don't take it lightly. So we're working really hard to give them all the results that they, they uh, envisioned when they joined our team. Some of them have been here through the hard times with me, and uh, it's nice to pay them back. My debut in Nationwide was awesome. It was 1988 at Indianapolis Raceway Park. I qualified fourth. I had no idea what I was doing. I'd never run one of those races before. I wound up finishing 11th or 12th, I think. Came back the next year and, uh, and won at, at IRP, uh, a race that it was near and dear to my heart. Uh, so early in my Nationwide career, it couldn't have gone better. Got my first win and my third start. So Ryan, buckle in, buddy. Go get you some of that. I know at the end of the uh, Daytona 500, seeing two of my cars up front racing for the win there was overwhelming. I mean, Martin Trix almost grabbed the lead on the last lap of the Daytona 500, and I couldn't even imagine what that would be like. Same with the Brickyard. There's two races that you would put on the top of the list to win during the course of the year. One would be Daytona. Second would be the Brickyard. After that, um, I'm going to say Chicago. That's a big one, too. What a great win this weekend. Well, Michael Waltrip Racing has to race for this chase. You know, we've got seven races to erase a 90-some point deficit for David Rudiman. He's outperformed the people that are ahead of him, so I know he can do it. So right now, all of our focus is uh, on David making the chase 
and Martin racing up to 13. You know, let's be realistic. He's not going to be able to make the chase. It doesn't look like he's too many points behind. But we still got a lot we can accomplish. That Napa car needs to get to victory lane, and he needs to be the best of the rest. Win races and race right up to the back of that chase.